Hello friends. Uh, this video is going to show you how to change tires, change your own tires, on a Honda ST1300. Also you could use this for many other motorcycles if you wanted to. Alright, this is my 05 Honda ST1300. I, I video this bike sometimes and a lot of people are like, dude is that a cop bike? Well, it's, it's closest. I escort funerals part-time, okay? So, big deal. Anyway, first thing you want to do, I'm going to show you what a man's motorcycle tires look like when they need to be changed, okay? Don't pussyfoot around. I like to get maximum mileage out of my tires. I put... 24,000 miles a year on this bike. I ride, I rides to die, okay? Anyway, let's uh, take the bag off. You want to take both bags off. Check this out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not only do you ride in the center, I ride on the side, all right? Anyway, that tire right there needs to be changed. So what we're going to do, we're going to take both bags off. And I'm going to do front and rear. Now there's a couple tricks I'm going to show you. This ST1300 stuff. Now I, I believe the manual wants you to take this exhaust off every time you change a tire. Well, if you have dealt with motorcycles, the more times that you take that exhaust off, the more that little lead gasket that is, uh, uh, that's in that pipe is going to deteriorate and you're going to have to buy one. A couple things you need to do. First, okay, let me go back over here. Don't take the exhaust pipe off. Look at that. Exhaust pipe looks mint, right? Nothing wrong with that. Well, right down here, see where the axle bolt is? I dented the underside so that that axle bolt will come out. Exhaust stays on. You, you wouldn't know unless I told you that that sucker was dented. So anyway, dent your exhaust, do it. The other thing is the caliper, this bolt right there, right in, right there, has to come off. That bolt's got some serious torque from the heat cycles I guess you could put some anti-seas in there, but which I've tried also. Once that sucker heats up, when it's on, man, it, it's it's hell breaking that off. So to get maximum torque without putting a wrench in there and killing yourself, you, there's a little heat shield right there. See that? See that heat shield right there? Notch that sucker so you can get to that bolt with a socket and a torque wrench, AKA breaker bar. All right, so, all right, you got your fender off. Take the one axle nut off, bingo. And then pull your axle out and take the tire off. And then I'll show you a trick on how to get the front tire off. Oh yeah. See, to do the front tire, you got to take the back tire off for me because I'm going to put it on. It's on the center stand. I'm going to take this back tire off. I'm going to jack this sucker up in the air so I can take the front tire off. So that's why I'm doing the front tire now anyway. Plus, you know, it's close enough. Okay. Axle's out. So you got to take your... Oh, uh, take your caliper assembly off and just kind of move it out of the way a little bit. And the tire, it's uh, you know it's a single-sided drive, so the tire has to kind of slide over and then come off. I only got two hands, so I got to put the phone down. Boo ya! All right, so there we go. Now, a couple things before you jack this bike up in the air and take the front tire off, 
it's uh you're gonna be kind of doing a balancing act so in order to get the tire off one caliper needs to come off so that the so that the width of the wheel will fit between those two calipers and I think it's I think it's this side I take off because yeah see we got we got some analog brakes going on here don't take this side is just so complicated because you got the um, there's another piston that actuates a rear uh, one of the uh, pistons in the rear when you hit the front brake it's it's a pretty cool setup um, for stunt riding I think it I mean you're not gonna stunt ride this bike but it totally sucks because when you give it front brake you're giving a little bit of rear at the same time so and it's got analog brakes it's kind of against it when I bought this bike uh, I used to stunt ride a little bit so anyway it's a little bit against it but Man, when it's raining, you can crank on that front brake lever, and you're not going to skid. It's and it doesn't. It's very smooth analog. Anyway, you want to uh, loosen your axle. You're going to take this off. You have to loosen these two bolts first. Take that off. Then loosen these two bolts to release the axle. Uh, take this caliper off. 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter just take it off let it hang then jack the bike up take the axle out and pull the tire off very carefully because now your bike is going to be it's going to be balancing okay and that's why i'm in the garage it's a windy day outside so you don't want wind jacking with this thing because it'll knock it over i've done this i i, I must have done it 10 times so it, it's kind of scary the first time but it, it'll work, but you don't want wind pushing your bike around. So uh, let me loosen this stuff up, jack it up, take the front tire off, and then I'll uh, hit some video again. Boo yeah! All right. Another thing I like to do: take the tire off. I like to put my spacers on the side of the bike that it came off of. Axle over here, spacer over there. Uh, the nut I like to keep it all on the same side because you you'll lose your um, you'll screw it up I, you know it, it just makes it easy now the bike is resting on the final drive it is not touching the pipe all right so we're good right it looks looks scary you definitely don't want the wind to be pushing that thing around. All right, so now front tire, got the rear tire. This is the fun part. This is where we separate the men from the boys. Fortunately for you, my viewing audience, I'm a man, okay? I'm a 100% man. I'm talking boom, all right? It's really not that hard. Go to the motorcycle shop. Get you some freaking tire spoons. I'll show you what those look like in a second because I got to find them. I think they're out in my shop. But Tire spoons. All right. Get you a set of these. Now, I bought a new set that are a little bit more fancy looking with, with handles because I started bending the, the, the snot out of that one. That's what it's supposed to look like. But I don't like them as much. I, I like these. They, man, they work really good. The other thing, you need a valve stem remover. All right, pull your valve stem out, let all the air out, and then work those spoons and get that damn tire off. Man up, okay? Pull your panties down. <laughs> Find your testicles. Man up. I've said that to one other person. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. Tire lubricant. Diluted with water. It's not Windex. 